Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius off camera. What I had gotten for you guys is some of you, it, it was clear, it said let go in the face of adversity. So something is not looking like it's working or it's moving or it's happening. It's adverse to what you want to happen for you. But it says let go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let go in the face of adversity. Really just um, surrendering to the universe. Surrendering to what you know will happen for you. What you know is happening. Okay. So that's uh, the overall message there. Um, we do have one advice card pulled for the, the Aquarius Collective. And we are going to uh, see what that card is at the end of the reading. What we're going to do in this reading is we're going to see what the energy is for each for uh, Aquarius dealing with each zodiac sign so all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces and then we'll see what the collective advice is for the Aquarius so let's get into it all right so Aquarius dealing with Aries Aquarius dealing with Aries and if anyone wants to time stamp that would be great the first person to time stamp um, this reading, uh, you, you can um, ask me two free questions, okay? And they need to be yes or no questions. Um, so you just email me. Um, I'll see that you timestamp that you were the first, and I will answer your two questions for for no cost. So if you want to take advantage of that. So anyway, let's get into it. Aquarius dealing with Aries. Oh wow, that flipped out. Five of Wands. So. It just seems as if with this Aries, it's a fight. It's a fight for what you want. It, 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 something is opposing. It is competing. There could be that you're in competition for this person's affection, attention. Someone has more than one person. It could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. Um, it just seems as if there's a lot of childishness also. It's a lot of banter. And it, it could even be um, sexual arousal or it, it's just back and forth. Um, something is contrary to it's just like so it, it, I don't know. Somebody's actions contradict what they say. Something is not in alignment here dealing with this uh, Aries Aquarius. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say in terms of Aquarius dealing with Aries. It just seems as if there's a constant battle here. Um, there's always arguing you know it goes nowhere souls that belong together will find their ways back to to uh, together so you guys may be separated um because there are other people maybe causing uh interference causing for the relationship not to move forward to progress you always feel like you have to fight for this person's affection or vice versa they feel this way about you but if your souls belong together you guys will find a way back to one another all right so let's see, Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Aquarius dealing with Taurus energy. Let's see. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. The death card. All right, so the relationship could have ended, is ending, is transitioning. Maybe it's going from one dynamic to another. Maybe you'll go from being, yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend to, um, maybe Mary, yeah coupled there's some good news here somebody this is also the relationship is ending and now a person is at a place of regret they regret not saying things maybe not telling you that they love you that they want to be with you that they really desire the relationship somebody kept options here somebody kept the relationship in lieu in limbo they wouldn't allow you to be their boyfriend or their girlfriend here it was just more so, it was always up in the air. There were other people. 
Now this person is feeling like you're the one that got away. You are the one. Now they want to do something big and monumental with you, like move in together, get by a cat, dog house. I don't know. But they want to do something big. They feel like they need to pull you back in. They feel like you, with you, it, it was victory. It was success. You know, it, it could have, you know, it could have really worked. Um, they might even try to come back in and, you know, reconcile with you. Yeah, start things back up. So with the Taurus, if you guys are separated, if you guys are separated, then it looks as if um, they may try to come back in and start things back up with you. They know that it's going to be a challenge because maybe you don't trust them and they, and they feel like, you know, you um, you feel like you, they, you might even feel like they have other people or vice versa. They feel like you have other people. And the energy can be vice versa. Start reclaiming who you truly are. So maybe in this Taurus connection here, Aquarius, you lost who you really were. You were so involved in the connection, so involved in the relationship, so in love with somebody who just didn't reciprocate. And now they're feeling your loss here. All right, so let's see what's going on for Aquarius and Gemini. Aquarius and Gemini. Aquarius and Gemini. Let's see. All right. The Six of Swords. So that is an Aquarian card. Um, some of you may be choosing to just move on or reconcile. You know, move on from the drama, the the past hurt. Um, some of you are making it. Yeah, some of you moving on alone here. Maybe moving on from this Gemini. Maybe even somebody moved on from you or there's a bit of a... Um, a ghosting situation. This is also self-discovery. Somebody's mind or personality is transitioning in terms of this relationship. Yeah, somebody is, um, if you guys are separated, somebody could be seeing you get your flowers here now. They could be seeing you, in, you know, in all of your splendor, all your light. They, they see that you're getting what you want. They're spying on you, inquiring about you. They feel like um, the relationship was very you know mental cerebral it was very like it, they had to be calculated or they were calculated somebody also created a false narrative uh about their money about their level of success um somebody wants to reconcile with you maybe because you have money you have success they know that there's other people sometimes way too immature um harsh cruel with their words you could be dealing with a Gemini woman here because Gemini women always come up as the queen of wands. For me, it looks like somebody took time to maybe move away from this connection and put somebody in a time out here for whatever reason. It looks like it could be about money or somebody was like, it's, it's false narrative here. What is this about for Aquarius and Gemini? And where does the power come from? It comes from within. All right, so maybe somebody started to feel powerless, okay? They were, they, somebody was also trying to get with someone else and live off someone else, or live off someone else's power, prestige, reputation, their good name. That's what I'm getting here, yeah. So that's what uh, we have for Aquarius and Gemini. Let's see what we have for Aquarius and Cancer. Aquarius and cancer what do we have for aquarius and cancer oh i wanted to pop out the five of swords so some tough words spoken between you and cancer somebody feels like defeated like they didn't win they didn't win the argument they didn't win your heart somebody feels like maybe their mind games their manipulation didn't take hold it didn't stick i don't know why i'm getting that it didn't stick or something like that the five of swords it's always interference in this connection it's always drama it's always um they're also this could have just been a love affair that went wrong somebody didn't get what they wanted so someone um maybe even had to move on you know uh choose to move on in shame and regret maybe even regretting giving this energy time effort yeah the two of wands somebody moved on yeah somebody felt like you know it, the grass is greener on the other side i just need to let this go i'm not going to get what i want this is an uphill battle it's time to just um look at other options yeah the hangman though uh yeah somebody's moving on and realizing the part that they played in this connection where they were self-sacrificing or they sacrificed too much or they gave up too much 
Somebody is also maybe even making plans to sacrifice, give up something here. What is this for Aquarius and Cancer? Last card for Aquarius and Cancer. Last card for Aquarius and Cancer. What is the hangman here? All right, Aquarius. All right, there we are. The temperance card. Maybe sacrifice and come to um, a better and higher understanding of the connection. Um, somebody feels like the other person is a soulmate, is the yin and yang. Somebody also had somebody at a place where they were like really in love with this person. They felt like they were the one. But somebody didn't choose a soulmate connection. Somebody's also trying to come to a place of maybe uh, dispelling all of the the mistrust, all of the drama, all the discord, all the 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 fighting. And trying to mediate. Maybe somebody feels like they need just need to take a time out so all the drama can subside. But at the same time, somebody feels like, yeah, this could be very successful. The Temperance card talks about a successful union, talks about a wealthy a marriage or a partnership also it talks of with the temperance card it talks about um maybe even waiting for uh, angelic presence or the divine to make a move or give sign hmm. i don't know so it's like waiting for the divine to maybe give somebody a, a sign to make a move this is interesting let things come and go Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So it's like somebody's trying to maintain their peace. They're not trying to, um, yeah, somebody's moving on to a more um, reliable and steady path here with Aquarius and Cancer. It's like somebody's just like, I, I, we can't fix this or we can't fix it right now. It's not a no, but it's a not right now type of situation here. Yeah, somebody's moving on, strutting their stuff deciding to not be a part of maybe some cheating scandal and now someone is trying to see what they can sacrifice or give up or what they can offer to maybe to get this person back all right aquarius and leo aquarius and leo aquarius and leo what's going on for my aquarius and leo aquarius and leo okay the queen of pentacles so this person sees your words are you coming into knowing your words aquarius dealing with this um leo uh, somebody feels like you are you are marriage material wow the ace of pentacles and the six of swords so someone feels like your marriage material like they want to make an offer um they feel like it's best with you you guys could be separated um and they're trying to figure out how they can get this opportunity to restart, to restart the relationship. Wow. Now you've got the King of Pentacles coming out. It could be another woman or another situation that someone has to end. Someone has to really sever ties with this person to be with you, with this Leo connection, um, in order for it to work. This also could be a married man um, needing to give up the third party to make the marriage work. Really needing to sever ties with that person. And then this also could be someone who's already coupled and want, wanting to go to the mistress. But whomever they're separated from is causing somebody a lot of anxiety. Like they just can't cope with the fact that they're not with this person. And they're figuring, is this the beginning of the end? You know, is we're not quite over, but is this the beginning of the end? Like somebody just doesn't know how to deal. There could have been some tough words spoken, an event that happened, something came out. Someone is just really having to deal with the emotions and the thoughts of what's going on in this connection. It's causing the dark night of the soul for either you, Aquarius, or the other person. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say. Yeah, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. We just talked about separation. So you, this person, you know... It might be that you guys are meant to be. It's just like there's a lot of interference or there has been a lot of interference um, in this connection. Okay. So that's what we have for Aquarius dealing with Leo. All right. Aquarius dealing with Libra. Aquarius dealing with Libra. Oh, that one to pop out. Okay. 
So we got the magician. Somebody knows what to say, how to say, knows how to, maybe the illusionist. Somebody can cast the illusion. Something isn't made real either. You know, um, it's still kind of um, in the 5D. It's just not, somebody's really trying to play their cards right, use their words wisely, make something happen, um, create the magic. You know, the magic of maybe creating a bond. You have a temperance card. So it's like somebody feels like, um, if there have been problems between you and your Virgo, somebody's trying to smooth it over by their words. They're trying to say the right things. They're trying to maintain balance, maybe even patience in this connection. They want things to go smoothly. You got two major arcana, so it looks like the universe is really trying to help you guys be better maybe with your words and how you speak to one another. Yeah, the wow, and then the Queen of Swords comes out. Yeah, so be better with your words in terms of how you speak to one another, in terms of how you show up. Yeah, so it's like um, the universe just wants you, you and your person to, this is also somebody inquiring about, did somebody let somebody go? Is someone serious? Is someone a liar? Is someone a manipulator? Can I trust their words? Um, you feel like maybe this Virgo is tricky. Yeah, you feel like it could be defeat with this uh, Virgo. And somebody is playing mental, mental games. Uh, someone is, uh, you know, you have to question their motive. You have to be the queen of swords. This is also somebody that's wanting the truth. So this could be a situation where somebody is saying all of the, the right things, but you don't know if you can trust here. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say for Aquarius dealing with Virgo. The soulmate cards have to say for Aquarius dealing with Virgo. Everything you need, your, your courage, your strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. So yeah, if you want to see this happen, if you want to make this happen, um, you have to have the courage and the compassion to maybe forgive, move on, accept what this person is saying, um, hold them to it, hold their feet to the fire, um, and let this energy subside. Because keep in mind the fives are temporary energy, so it, it, it's not always going to be like that, okay? All right, so let's see. Aquarius dealing with Libra. Aquarius dealing with Libra. Aquarius dealing with Libra. What do we have for Aquarius dealing with Libra? Oh, that card wanted to flip out. The Ace of Swords. So, truth, clarity, direction, no distractions. Therefore, you can see the absolute truth of the matter. Um, this is cutting off, cutting out, making some irrevocable change. Victory. Uh, conflict before victory. Yeah, wow, the death card. So, with the Libra... Maybe there's like ending, like somebody deciding to either cut out the dynamic of themselves or cut out the relationship altogether. Somebody feels like, you know, this is just not good. The death card specifically talks about an ending to a relationship. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Um, somebody is cutting out, leaving, leaving some, oh, okay, I heard leaving somebody on red, not, not uh, responding, not engaging, um, not putting any energy into the relationship. Um, leaving someone out in the cold, ignoring, not acknowledging. Um, and maybe this is where this relationship has been for a while with Aquarius and Libra. This is somebody also who maybe even had other options. Let's see. You have the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups here. This is somebody that maybe you connected with from the past or you had a past relationship with. Or maybe this is somebody who's going back to their past and they're leaving you on red. They're isolating and alienating you. There's miscommunication, lack of communication, and maybe somebody all some the other party was trying to do. I don't know where you fit in, Aquarius, was trying to make something right, and the other party was just not hearing it, maybe just not giving enough energy, effort, time, uh, vocalizing or verbalizing themselves with the Aquarius or vice versa. This is what the Aquarius was doing. So this is just an energy where you might have to just let this be. And I say that because you have one, only one major arcana here. You might have to just let it be for now. It's very temporary energy. It could shift. It could change. 
somebody also their emotions are all over the place especially due to this breakup or this separation or this divorce it's time to declutter your heart space your emotional space also it's time to just maybe get to a simpler place somebody was trying to really reconcile yeah and maybe another party you or the libra wasn't having it oh let me get a uh, soulmate card for aquarius and libra soulmate card for aquarius and libra okay yeah never make temp permanent decisions on temporary feelings yeah so maybe you felt like you wanted to connect with this person again or reconnect or revisit and maybe those were temporary feelings and you made a you know maybe some i don't know it could be the other way around too uh, maybe you decided to n not connect or cut this person off or or whatnot and now you feel different so you made a permanent decision uh, on temporary feelings well this is what that per the person did to you it's something about maybe somebody um you know um I don't know, firing too soon, firing off, being quick fire, not letting things settle. Yeah. And the cards are telling you what I just said, you know, just don't worry, release worries and receive universal abundance. Something about with the Aquarius and the Libra dynamic, um, it's a lot of temporary energy. So it looks like things could shift. Just leave it alone for now. Just leave it alone. Um, release it. All right, and let's see, Aquarius dealing with Scorpio. Aquarius and Scorpio. Aquarius and Scorpio. Two of the, the smartest signs in the Zodiac, Aquarius and, and Scorpio. So let's see. Wow, Scorpio comes right out the death card. So the relationship could be over or it shifted to some dynamic. Maybe you went from being lovers to friends, from friends to love lovers, from not talking to talking from talking to not talking something has it's a dynamic shift so it's it's really you know the full card so maybe somebody's chosen to go their own way could be you Aquarius with the full card someone has chosen to just be friends a carefree connection where there's not a lot of um strings attached obligation here or someone wants that with you yeah, yeah the lovers yeah somebody wants maybe a carefree um sexual loving connection with you or vice versa this is what you wanted someone okay i'm getting somebody didn't choose the soulmate um connection and they can't get over you they keep thinking about you they keep wanting to be with you they keep um you know that their mind is stuck on you you know everything is stuck on you you know so it's just like um this person can't get over you because they didn't choose this yeah they Maybe somebody moved away. They didn't choose the soulmate situation with the temperance card. Yeah. Somebody decided, like, this is a lot of friend energy. Let's just be friends. Let's move on. This is not working. I'm not getting what I want. And somebody didn't choose to maybe level up the relationship here. Yeah. And somebody said, yeah, let's just be friends. Somebody really wanted a carefree, playful, fun, sexual connection. They wanted something to continuously go on and on with you, but they didn't want to give you what you wanted. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say for Scorpio, Aquarius and Scorpio, Aquarius and Scorpio. All right. Oh, they're upside down. Hang on. All right. So everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So maybe you feared leaving this connection or you stayed with this person out of fear of maybe not finding someone else or vice versa. This is what they were doing. Um, somebody made a fear-based decision or is making a fear-based decision. It's not out of love. It's not out of understanding. Somebody could have just walked away or decided to walk away. Um, somebody really knows that this union is significant, but they didn't choose it. They kept, they wanted to keep it in a very low vibrational, fun loving energy and maybe that was out of fear so um that's what we have for Scor aquarius and scorpio let's see aquarius and sagittarius aquarius and sagittarius aquarius and sagittarius all right so aquarius and sag let's see what's going on all right so the five of swords so tough words tough words tough energy there's a lack of communication 
there's some backbiting there's just harshness altogether there's a need for this bad blood between you and this Sagittarius for whatever reason there's a need there was a need for somebody to sharpen their words somebody felt like they needed to be sharp with how they communicated with the other party this could be you Aquarius this is an Aquarian card five six and seven five of swords six of swords seven of swords so it could have been you could have been the other party um, somebody devastated or, or, or put somebody in a devastating place emotionally, mentally with their words. Somebody kind of broke the relationship. You know, it could have been, yeah, what they said was detrimental to the connection here. What is going on here? There also could have been other parties involved. Somebody saw the games that were being played. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe that somebody had another party, had another relationship, that somebody had a family, uh, that somebody wasn't making moves, that somebody wasn't um, getting a divorce. Somebody, like somebody, you know, somebody said, you, you're playing games and I need for things to be made real or I'm moving on or I am moving on. I have moved on. Um, I need expansion in this relationship. If I can't get that, then uh, I'll, I'll, you know, go another way with the three of wands. Someone is waiting for somebody to walk away from this family, this dynamic. It drives someone insane that somebody just won't make the decision and they keep it. They keep some type of decision up in the air. You know, they don't actually make this change this irrevocable change but there is love there's compassion there might even be a soulmate union between you and your person you and your sag but at the same time somebody feels like there is opposition there is interference there is somebody always goes back to this you haven't done this or you aren't doing this or you but this is how the relationship really is the two of cups the empress and the will of fortune so it's like um, you guys are maybe high level soulmates. This is the one you feel that way about them. They feel that way about you. They feel like they put you on a pedestal. You are the empress and they feel like there's also a platonic and a romantic connection here. So it's going to make for a good marriage. So you and uh, wow, at the six, six of wands at the bottom of the deck, this is definitely a cheating scandal, especially with that 10 of pentacles coming out somebody already has obligation elsewhere let's see what the soulmate cards have to say for aquarius and sagittarius all right everything you ever needed is on the other side of fear okay and then we also have a um twin flame uh card here you know according to greek mythology humans were originally born with four arms four legs and Two hands, fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of the other. So um, it's like you guys are, you know, twin flames here. You are twins. And um, you, maybe the other person knows that it's just like some opposition between the two of you. All right, so Aquarius dealing with, uh, who's next? Oh. A, a Capricorn, Aquarius dealing with a Capricorn. All right. One more shuffle. Aquarius dealing with Capricorn. All right, let's see. Aquarius dealing with Capricorn. Oh, there we are in the Four of Cups. So somebody feels like rejected, like they missed the opportunity, they missed the offer, they missed the blessing that was right before them. Because they were too focused on maybe the Three of Cups, partying, social, activity, social activities, other people. Someone was just more so focused on other things and they didn't see what was right before them. They was they were emotionally withdrawn from their person. Yeah, the death card, something's over. Somebody feels like this is over. Maybe a, a feminine energy closed the relationship out. It was already on death's door. It was dying and now it's dead. Um, so you, let's see what this is about, yeah. Seven of Swords and Two of Wands. Somebody kept options open. They kept sneaking around. They kept masquerading like something was when it was. Something wasn't when it was. Um, this is a person who was trying very hard to get away with something. There was a lot of deception. This was also, this is somebody trying to make the other person a scapegoat. It's just somebody leaving. This is somebody who has solo plans too. 
and the plans were to go back and forth between two. I don't know, between maybe being single and acting like acting like they were a couple. Um, it could be maybe even going between two different people. Somebody kept the door open. They kept, you know, um, opposition. They kept something that was uh, opposing the relationship. So, um, yeah, so it just seems as if maybe you Aquarius or the other person, I don't know what, what sign you lie on, but somebody just um, decided to end the connection here and close their emotions off to this connection and maybe even get their emotional stability back because they this completely destabilized them because it was um, a lot of playing, a lot of uh, playing games. Let's see. Um, what is the soulmate card for Aquarius and Capricorn? Adventure awaits. Go find it. Yeah. So Aquarius said, you know what? I can't continue to be in this. Or maybe the, the Capricorn said, I can't continue to be in this relationship that, um, you know, the door is always open to others. I don't know where I stand. Somebody has rejected me uh, or I have rejected the other person. And I'm going to go find something new, some adventure. All right. So that's what I have for Aquarius and Capricorn. Let's see. Aquarius and Aquarius. How does that relationship ever get off the ground? How does it ever get from friendship to Aquarius together? Let's see. Aquarius and Aquarius. All right, let's go. So let's see. What do we have for Aquarius and Aquarius? All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How does it get off the ground? Because none of the cards want to pop out. It might be. Okay, there we are. The sun card. Very nice. So um, somebody felt like you're the one or you feel like they're the one. That could have been marriage, maybe even a baby. Um, let's see. Yeah. Somebody could be baby's mom or there's a baby's mom in between, but there's a lot of toxicity. Something could really be over because of somebody's addiction, uh, codependency. Um, they're not worthy or something about money. Extravagancy or being extravagant. Somebody was in love with being in love. There was also another woman here or they tried to make the Aquarius, the other woman, the secret woman. They had a lot of options. Yeah, they had a lot of options. Somebody got someone pregnant mistakenly. Like this wasn't their, this wasn't their plan. It wasn't planned. There, there wasn't a plan here. Somebody is realizing that somebody is the one or that they're in love with this person after they're, after they're gone. You know, then they're missing them. Somebody feels like they, it's a missed opportunity. Someone can't cope with the fact that it's over with the Ten of Swords here. It just got really bad to the point where someone had to leave. This could even be a volatile relationship where there was like physical violence. It was volatile also in terms of somebody just didn't know where they stood from day to day. It was it was different. This could even be mental and emotional issues from the past. Let's see about Aquarius and Aquarius. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. So this is about getting out there, putting yourself out there and creating the life that you want, maybe elsewhere. Um, somebody lost themselves in this, this connection because maybe somebody felt like this was like a twin flame. You know, it says start reclaiming who you truly are. Yeah, this was, it could even a bit a back to codependency. Maybe somebody was way dependent on this relationship. Um, somebody was extremely dependent on this relationship. Somebody tried to make somebody the, the other woman secret. Then they ended up falling in love or getting somebody pregnant. Somebody also could be, somebody was staying with someone for the money. It's a lot of different energy there for the Aquarius and the in the Aquarius. So last but not least, we have Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius 
and Pisces. What's going on with Aquarius and Pisces? All right, so we've got six of pentacles. We've got seven of cups. Somebody's giving just enough to keep somebody holding on, hanging on, keep them wishing and hoping that things will change. Yeah, but yeah, somebody's waiting for things to change or things to get better so that they can get a return on their investment. Somebody feels like they put in a lot of time, energy, effort into this relationship, maybe even a lot of years. They've accepted the fact that it's just not working right now. They're being very passive or somebody's taking a very passive approach in this connection, in this relationship, not moving. Um, maybe even wishful thinking. Somebody feels like they want to show their affection by way of a gift or giving a gift. Yeah, uh, to get out the doghouse with the five of pentacles. Yeah, with the will of fortune. Maybe even somebody wants a part of somebody's fortune here. Yeah, with the ace of pentacles. A lot of money here. Somebody also is like, okay, well, I'll show this person some affection. A little, I'll throw them a bone here so that they always have me or they feel like they have me as an option or as a person here. But really what I am after is their fortune or I'm after their money. Um, I, I see with them, it could be fortunate. Um, I'm waiting, somebody's waiting or somebody knows that somebody's waiting for money or waiting on um, you know, their day in the sun and, and they just wanna be a part of it. Somebody's like, I'm just gonna do just enough to continuously be a part of this, okay. The soulmate card that came out. Let's see. For Aquarius and Pisces. It's like, it's a lot of waiting. It's years of maybe getting the same thing. Um, change. Somebody. Um, it says you are spiritually connected to those you love. So. Yeah, stop criticizing yourself. You're perfect just the way you are. And you will meet your soulmate when it, the time is right. I don't think this is your person. I think this person sees something more in you. Excuse me. They see money in you, not more. They see money. I knew it was an M word, but it wasn't more. They see comfort, stability. I don't know if you give them money or you have given them money. All right, so let's see what the overall advice card is for the Aquarius. Wow, peacekeeper, Re let go of the need to be right. Initially, when we started the reading, we talked about letting go, you know, um, complete letting go and surrendering in the face of adversity. Maybe there are people opposing you or there's something that is adverse to what it is you say you want. Let go of the need to be right. Let go of, of the argument, okay? Um, this card talks about the truth coming out. The truth will prevail. You don't have to go run and pull the truth in and, and, and then, you know, sit truth down face to face with these people or this person. Just know that in time, the truth will come out and you have, it, it's much easier said than done, but you have to really rest in that energy of knowing that in time, people will see. In time, people will understand. In time, people will see the true narrative because what they have been, back to false narrative, I think in one of the readings that kept coming up, something about a false narrative here, people will see that um, something was false or you'll see that somebody was false or that the narrative that they set for you was false or maybe when they told other people about you, it was false. Um, be the peacekeeper. Okay, I'm hearing that. For some of you, you're going to come into a lot of prestige, a lot of uh, just a new way of living. You're going to um, have a great reputation, especially in career and in your finances. And all of those people who did not uh, congratulate you when you were down or when you were out or they talked about you or they told lies about you or they just spread rumors about you um, that were untrue. Or maybe some tr some were true, but it wasn't their, their story to tell. The cards are saying, or this card is saying that even in the midst of that, they want you to keep the peace. You're going to be up on that high horse, but keep the peace and don't uh, feel the need to come off your horse and, uh, you know, argue and be right. You just want to be right. No, let, the truth is going to speak volumes louder than you could ever, you know. 
So let the truth come out. Let it prevail. Um, somebody is being exposed or a spirit is putting somebody in a, in a place of exposure, good exposure. And then there's also someone being exposed for all of the, the ill will, the, um, the ill wishes. Let's pull one card for peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. You're all, I heard you're already right. Six of pentacles flew out of the deck. I knew it because you're going to get, you, something is happening for you. There's a yes answer for you. Wow, the power dynamic is shifting. This card specifically talks about power, power dynamic. All right, think about that, the power dynamic. The power dynamic in the six of pentacles is typically in a traditional uh in the traditional deck it would be beggars and then it would be the man giving the beggars you know a, a bit of money some scraps right and maybe you were in in the place of need you were in that place of lack and you you needed and maybe uh, people knew about it or they didn't know exactly your situation or maybe they talked about it they spread rumors they you were just not in the best power dynamic now, since this card talks about the power uh, dynamic shifting, now you're going to be in a place of where you can give. You're, you're now the rich man or the rich woman, and you're giving maybe opportunity, money. I heard even um, giving forgiveness or accept an apology, or you can, you're going to be in that place. Aquarius, the universe is really propelling you to a place of ascension, you know, in the spiritual realm and in this realm here. People who talk horribly about you are going to see you. They're going to have to deal with you on this level where your power shifts. They're going to be, there's going to be so much hate and question. Wow. The emperor at the bottom of the deck talks about achievement, getting to some level of expertise or an expert in your field, creating something out of nothing, having an empire, a true legacy. And of course, he is wealthy. He is all of those things. Um, he's a business owner. He makes the decision. Some of you will get to a place where you're going to have the deciding factor over people who hate you or hated you or hated on you. There is great dislike. Aquarius, all they're saying is keep the peace because you have, you'll have the power to, to, <laughs> to not keep the peace. You, you know, you can stir, you could, you could stir the pot, but it says keep the peace here. Um, and don't try to go and pull up the truth the truth is just going to be there where people are just going to have to accept it you know they, they they will no longer be able to run from it so you're not going to have to go and say well you told lies and here's the evidence here's the truth and you're not going to have to do that they're just going to people are going to look at you and say wow i heard so many different stories and narratives about the aquarius and now that i've met them myself and i'm talking to them i see them and see what they have to offer and I see what kind of person they are hmm that must have not been true there you are there's there's the truth so um yeah people are going to see you I think the universe is blessing you publicly you know the divine is preparing a table before you in the midst of your enemies and that's why they want you to keep the peace Aquarius, this is what I have. We're at 43 minutes. We got to get out of here. Please, if you feel like you want to do the timestamps, you can do so. Um, and the first person to do the timestamps, email me your two free questions. All right. Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, go over to the website, book there. Come visit the live tonight. Today is Sunday. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday night. Um, so come visit the live. We'll do a collective reading. You can ask questions. This is a really good reading for you, Aquarius. Um, many blessings to you. Take care.